Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, beautiful Empress. This is going to be your love reading, okay? Um, one second. I'm gonna grab this one. I grabbed it, but then I left it on the counter. So sorry about that. So in T way, okay, this is going to be for Libra, the motherfucking Empress, and that's just that on that. Okay. Look at you at the bottom of this deck. Look at that. Looking pretty as a motherfucker. Okay, let's see. Okay, and behind that is what? The Five of Swords, King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Okay, let's see what this is for Libra and the Empress. What's up, baby? Don't pay attention to this hell, y'all. What's the message for Libra the Empress? Libra the Empress. Libra, Summer Rising, Venus and North Node. Libra. In love, Spirit. Give us some messages for Libra in love. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the motherfucking Five of Cups popping out. Okay, what's the messages for Libra in love? Libra, Summer Rising, Venus and North Node. The Empress, Your Highness. What's the messages for Libra? Libra. Libra, the Empress in love spirit. What's the messages for Libra? All right, we got the Page of Swords. So this could be somebody is definitely watching you here. Why the fuck is these cards doing that? Yeah, someone's watching you. Hold on, let me grab a... Um, Sorry, I just want to make sure. I have to have a candle, y'all. Like to have a candle um burning, and that one went out. So okay, here we go. All right. So, anyways, I feel like um somebody's watching you. I I, I feel like, or you're watching somebody. Pick which side of this you're on. Okay. Let me try to straighten this out some. So this is you or somebody else watching you. Okay. But um, I'm gonna watch this thing. But anyways, I feel like this is this is love. This is um I feel like somebody's obsessed with you. The page of source, someone's studying you, they're really watching you. Okay, they're trying to learn you here. They want to Uh, so with the page of swords being the the strongest energy because it was the first card out i don't know somebody's like obsessed with watching you they watch your every move or this is you pick what side you're on okay they, they i feel like somebody's just just simply intrigued by you i don't i don't even think it's you know like some shit like that but it could be we're gonna see with the cards that come out okay but let's see libra let's see what this is for libra what's this for libra in love please spirit what's these messages for libra in love okay so a lot of um a lot of stalking and watching you libra okay keep somebody's keeping their eye on you it could be a, a an air sign it could be an aquarius possibly okay yeah six of swords and the lovers and the eight of cups so this is someone that you moved on from libra or that moved on from you pick which side of this you're on and um they're still watching you or they or or they miss you or they feel like they shouldn't have walked away from you i feel like somebody's just very very much studying you here okay All right, yeah, the world card. So I'm definitely getting somebody, yeah, somebody's watching you on a world, you could be on a world stage, but I'm getting like something is over or somebody's gonna stop watching you, Libra, or you're gonna stop watching somebody. I'm, I'm getting like the ending. There's an ending to somebody watching you or doing something here 
Are you watching somebody? What's the world card? This could also be somebody at a distance. This could be somebody across the world. So it's different for everybody. Take what resonates. But this could be somebody definitely at over a body of water at a distance, maybe even overseas that is watching you here. So if you have some kind of platform where you have like a lot of followers, subscribers, or fans, or whatever, from all over the place. I feel like somebody's watching you heavy. They could be very much interested in you. What's the love messages for Libra, the Empress? What is the world card? Okay, yeah, we have the Magician. It could be an Aries. And if it's not somebody that's across the world, it could just be somebody that's, that's at a distance. Maybe somebody travels uh, across the world or something like that but we have the temperate Sagittarius so there's somebody who's manifesting there's somebody that wants to come in and take massive action towards you I feel like there's someone that's really holding back I feel like somebody they want to reconcile or be with you but they're holding back for some reason what is this for Libra in love Libra in love because I saw something yeah the nine of swords oof so there's somebody watching you that it's over with. They're still watching you. Somebody's still trying to manifest you or they want to take action, but they're losing sleep here. It could be a Gemini or an Aries. I feel like somebody is like losing their shit here about you, Libra, or this is you. What's the nine of swords in love for Libra? Yeah, the ten of swords. Wow. Wow. Okay, so somebody's worried about an ending or something that ended abruptly or maybe they ended things with you abruptly or, you know, I feel like somebody's like kind of like regretting a move that they made here or something. Yeah, Knight of Swords. So somebody wants to heal the situation. They want to apologize. I feel like somebody may have said something or did something here that they really, really regret. Somebody feels like they fucked up. With the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, somebody could have came at you, fucked up, or said something. Or maybe this is you. But the Ten of Swords is like an ending that happens abruptly. And I feel like somebody, Knight of Swords, that could be somebody that's impulsive. Somebody regrets something that they said or did here they wish they didn't say that they wish they didn't do that they wish they would have handled the situation in a different way or something like that somebody's really really uh yeah the two of swords because now that's you libra you could be closed off you don't want to hear nothing see nothing talk about nothing you like no you know, fuck that. Yeah, the star, the emperor, and the knight of cups. Now somebody wants to heal it. Yeah, the three of swords. Somebody in the two of cups. Somebody wants to make up. They want to take you out. They want to reconcile. They're sorry for how they ended this. They're sorry for what they said. They're sorry for um for for how they they handled the situation. Like this is like really plaguing somebody. And all they can do is sit back and watch you. Someone's also very attracted to you as well. They're very attracted to your body or something like that. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Somebody's really stuck in their head. They're having a repeated, repetitive thoughts about this. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You Because you walked away or about walking away from you. Somebody just, they're looking back at the past like, why did I do that? Why didn't I put in the effort, the energy? Why did I say what I said or do what I did? This this different for everybody. Somebody could have said something, did something. You know it's different. All right. So somebody's like like really like really feeling some kind of way about that. Okay. Okay. It's like repetitive thoughts. Somebody's like stuck in their head. This is a lot of uh, swords. It's like head energy. Somebody's stuck in their head. It's air energy. Yeah, the chariot. Okay. What's the chariot and the eight of swords? Because the eight of swords wanted to come out in the reverse. So somebody could be coming out of their, their head about a situation. Yeah, somebody wants to charge back in and come towards you. I feel like somebody has freed themselves from a Cancerian. So that could be what it is. Maybe somebody was stuck with a Cancerian. Or something now now that they're free I feel like this person wants to rush back in toward you all right or maybe you moved on and now this person hold on
So now somebody wants to rush back in. Yeah, I'm getting you're undecisive. You're not sure about this. You could be in the public eye. You could be a business owner, an entrepreneur. Yeah, the emperor. I feel like somebody wants to come in. They, they want to come in boss. They want to apologize. They're sorry. Yeah. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize. Yeah. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Somebody's obsessed with you, with, obsessed with pleasing you, obsessed with making you happy, obsessed with giving you what it is that you want. Okay. What's the Eight of Swords in the reverse with the Chariot? Somebody is like, somebody walked away, but somebody asked, yeah, the Hermit. Okay, so somebody's ghosting someone. Virgo and Cancer energy here. So is Aries. Okay, so somebody has ghosted or get the, or freed themselves from a situation. They cut themselves loose here. Okay, and 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 it's like somebody wants to rush in towards you or rush in and come back towards you now because they're free from another situation or or something has ended elsewhere. So they feel like yeah, the Five of Pentacles that somebody got left out in the cold or there was definitely a breakup or an ending, an abrupt one. I feel like in the past, somebody could have been on the fence or in a relationship that they were off and on um, with. And, and now, what's the Knight of Swords? And now somebody's like, uh, yeah, the Will of Fortune. I feel like things have changed drastically here. Okay. I feel like this person feels like they're running out of time as well. Like, I need to come in now. Somebody is... Like, really, they've taken a lot of time to analyze the situation. They've done a lot of thinking. They're like, man, I need to get out of my fucking head, and I need to take action. I need to move. I'm tired of thinking about shit, sitting on shit, waiting on shit, or whatever. Or this is you. It's time for me to move. And I feel like somebody is running out of time, because whenever I see Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like something's about to change drastically. Okay? And, um... Somebody, like, I can't let that happen, like... I just feel like somebody's like, just hold on or please don't go or something. What is this? Will of Fortune? I, I just feel like something has changed. Yeah, the death card in reverse. Somebody does not want something to end with you. You see how I flipped out in the reverse? Could be a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Cancer, or an Aries. Or they could have this highly aspected. But somebody's like, no, it, it can't end or I don't want it to end. Or, you know... <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, the King of Cups. Somebody's like, yeah. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Somebody may feel like they're in love with you. They may have never told you that, but somebody may feel like, you know, they took too long or they held back and now it's too late. You know what I'm saying? But somebody has freed themselves and moved on from either a Virgo or a Cancer or somebody got ghosted or something ended abruptly here. I feel like somebody regrets how they ended something with you or what they said to you. It, they feel like it was impulsive. Like, I, I feel like I hear somebody saying, out of all the things that I could have said, why did I say that? You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't I just, um, I don't know. Why can't I just not handle things in that way? Yeah. The two of swords and the queen of wands. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting like you're you're first of all, this person finds you to be very attractive, very ambition, very ambitious. You seem to be closed off to the situation. Um, OK, you're. Uh, all right. I feel like you're unwilling to make a decision here. Some or somebody feels like you're not somebody feels like you're gonna be cold or 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 that you've cut it off or that it's dead. Somebody doesn't want it to be, but I feel like they feel like you have because this is your energy to a source, Libra. I feel like you're confident and you're okay with the ending or what happened because even if you felt some kind of way in the beginning when this shit happened, I feel like you got over that or you quickly did, or you're just like, no. Because you're not, yeah, Knight of Cups. Somebody really wants, yeah, Three of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody wants to make up with you. They want to take you out. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. They want to have a good time with you. I also feel like, yeah, somebody somebody wants to show you. They want to give you justice. I feel like somebody also wants to, like, 
like please you in every way whatever it is that you want somebody wants to show you that they can give it to you all right somebody's heartbroken and sad without you they really are they really regret how they handle shit with you and they really do want to come in and apologize and offer something to you they want a relationship with you i feel like they're in love with you they may have never told you that, but they definitely are feeling that way. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Somebody's feeling out in the cold. I feel like somebody just wants the, yeah, page of wands. Six of swords and the lovers and the six of cups and the page of cups. So this is somebody wanting to reconcile. They want they want a clean slate or they want to start over. Yeah, ten of pentacles and the empress. Somebody sees you as their empress. Somebody may even want to live together or somebody is, is even willing to relocate to be closer to you. And if it's not, if they're not that far away from you, it could only be 30 minutes or whatever. Somebody's willing to come closer to you. Maybe even they may even want to live together. Like this person wants to message you, maybe come over or talk or come see you, travel towards you. This person has not been able to move on from this love. There's a lot of energy of like an apology and somebody wanting to wanting you to hear them out, uh, Libra. What's the five of pentacles? Because I feel like somebody may have been, yeah, the eight of cups. Somebody definitely left something out in the cold and walked away from something here. And that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody had to release themselves from a situation that they felt stuck in. But I feel like they freed themselves with the eight of swords in the reverse. Somebody got ghosted or there definitely was a breakup eight of cups. Somebody walked away. All right. Maybe from a lot of people or several people or, or, or whatever this is. I feel like somebody had anxiety about doing that before. But now they're like, no. I'm good. I'm 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 done with this and I'm about to rush back in toward the person I want to be with that I don't want things to end with, which is you. Death card in the reverse. If somebody wasn't sure about a decision, I'm getting there sure about it now. Somebody knows what it is that they want. What's the two of swords? I'm feeling ace of swords energy here. Clarity. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, somebody wasn't sure, but now they're sure. So it wasn't the ace of swords, but it's still an ace. The ace of pentacles. Somebody wants to offer this towards you. They, they want to offer commitment. Let's see what the ace, what's the ace of pentacles? Yeah, what's the ace of pentacles? This is something solid, tangible. They may even want to uh, propose. What's the ace of pentacles for Libra? Ace of pentacles in love for Libra? The devil card. It could be a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. What's the devil card? Why is the devil card here? Somebody's obsessed with giving you this offer or yeah, the 10 of wands. Yeah, somebody is really stressed out. So so somebody else may be offering you something and, and this person sees that. This is stressing somebody out to the max here. What's the devil in the 10 of wands? Somebody's like, I, I'm running out of time. This is stressing me. I can't do this. I can't sleep. Somebody is like, please, you feel me? They have the higher font. Okay, yeah, somebody's stressed out about you being married or you being in a relationship or you move, moving on. This, this somebody is like, somebody is like, I'm willing to do anything to fight to be with you. I really do feel like somebody is willing to do anything. They will release what they have to. They have moved on. They want to fight for you and they want to be with you. And I don't know if it's because somebody else is offering you something. Yeah, we have the eight of wands and the four of wands and the queen of swords. Could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Cancer, an Aries or a Scorpio. That is like, I told you, Ace of Swords energy. I told you it's coming out. Yeah, that's the truth. Somebody, somebody's like, man, I'll, I'll do whatever. I'll put in work. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the world and the Ten of Wands. Something's definitely, some, something is definitely ended here. In a situation, yeah, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords, yeah, and the Two of Cups. So somebody wants to make up. This person um, hurt you or you hurt them or whatever the fuck. And, and somebody wants to apologize. Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. They want to give you what you want. I feel like somebody just wants to spoil you. They want to date you. They want to show you that they can be very loving. I feel like um, somebody... Somebody is saying, literally, I'm hearing them say, you didn't get to see the best parts of me. I show, I didn't show you. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of this deck. 
And I didn't even see that, I swear. So this is clarity and truth. Yeah, the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, the same cards. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Somebody's very, and the Ace of Cups. The Star, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, Libra. And the Knight of Swords, these same cards. The Ten of Swords, these same cards are showing up. Somebody wants marriage with you. They're sorry. They want to date you. They want to heal this. I feel like this person wants nothing more than to heal this. You feel me? Like, it, it's stressing somebody out. It's very frustrating. I feel like somebody's so frustrated to the point that it's like... <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, the Page of Cups. An apology. They're sorry for this. They 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 at least want to start off as friends, but I feel like somebody wants more than that. They want to put in the work for you, Libra. They want to they want to be with your ass. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Okay. Yeah, in the in the Knight of Wands. Yeah. This could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Yeah, because I feel like somebody played mind. They want to apologize for playing mind games or being in and out or um, or just whatever this is. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. What is the Five of Swords in, a, in the Page of Cups? Because this could be somebody coming in like the Page of Cups, but they really have mind games. They, they may have intentions. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're, they're tricky. Seven of Swords, somebody is a liar and they play mind games. They're, you have to be careful. Yeah, the King of Wands. But we're going from the Knight to the King of Wands. Maybe before they were a Knight of Wands, they were a liar, a cheater, a con. Somebody that played games. Somebody that's very immature with the Page of Cups. But maybe they're grown. Yeah, the, we have the, yeah. The King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Three of Cups. I feel like somebody has grown up. Someone realizes that it's you that they want. I feel like somebody, um, they're, they're, they're sorry uh here yeah the queen of swords yeah i feel like you have your guard up you're like no and somebody knows that somebody knows that you know that they're they play games that, that they're a liar somebody um um definitely could have lied about being married as well that's for some of you okay but i'm getting you know the truth you know what's up all right and i feel like um Okay, what what is what is the five of swords, seven of swords? Somebody definitely was a player or thought that they could or or whatever. The, yeah, okay, good. Five of cups. So they regret this. They regret playing mind games with you, lying and cheating or being a player or being in and out. Somebody really regrets that shit. They, they regret not taking you seriously because now you have your guard up. You have your back. Queen of swords, that's you, Libra. Now you know what's up and now you have your guard up. Now somebody wishes that they would have respected you. Or devoted themselves to you because they know that you're you you are somebody of respect and high honor. You're not gonna play with the fuck shit. Yeah, nine of cups because now somebody's realizing you're their wish fulfillment, king of cups, and how much they're in love with you because they are. Yeah, knight of pentacles, seven of wands. Somebody, yeah. Now somebody, yeah, I, I'm glad I saw that five of cups clarifying five of swords, seven of swords in the knight of wands because that shows regret. And we have the five of cups, nine of swords. Somebody really does regret doing that. And they definitely have released whoever this person is from the past. They're not holding on to them anymore or any of that. Yeah, we have the strength card. I'm getting you have strong boundaries with the higher font, queen of swords and the strength. And somebody knows that. Somebody knows you're not going for it, Libra. They like, nah, I'm not even going to try that shit bro i feel like somebody is like taking you serious yeah the six of swords and the page of wands because somebody knows that you somebody sees you as really good news they see you as very they're very attracted to you somebody's going to somebody wants to message you as well they see you as um somebody they want to take action towards okay i'm getting there's a lot of chemistry a lot of passion here that this person feels for you all right Somebody may even want to come and travel to see you. I feel like somebody wants to see you. They want to know, can they come see you or, but I feel like with the six of swords, you, you, you have moved on or, or something like that. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Eight of wands. I'm getting there. Th this person, they're going to travel to come and see you. Six of swords, eight of wands. If they're not at a very far distance for some of you, they are, they're across the body of water or they're across the world for others. This person could be 30 minutes away, but whatever it is, this person wants to come and see you. Okay. I feel like there's going to be text messages, passionate text messages between the two of you. 
I feel like this person is very, very attracted to you. Yeah. All right. This person may be, this person may uh, send you an email. Yeah, the three of pentacles, that's communication. This could be emails back and forth, or this could be text messages in your phone. But I feel like somebody wants to work with you now. This could be somebody you met at work or that was brought into your life by chance. Six of swords that you were guided to. This is a work situation here that could have went, yeah, nine of pentacles. In the temperance, in the three of cups, in the ace of wands, and king of wands. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile. They feel like you're so balanced. You're so beautiful. You're so sanguine. You're so attractive. There's still a lot of chemistry between you and this person, even if it doesn't feel like it because you haven't talked or this person, whatever. There, there, it still is. It still is. A, yeah, the high priestess. It still is a lot of chemistry and a lot of love here. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be you could be like a business owner or this could definitely have been um a third party situation in the past for sure. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So there's there's here it is. This apology, this offer towards you, this this um All right, somebody really wants to apologize. Yeah, somebody just feels like you're a good choice, a really good catch, a really good choice with the nine of pentacles that we saw as well. Yeah, someone's in love with you with this king of cups. I feel like somebody's like deeply in love. They may not show that or they may be the type that may, yeah, the fool. Somebody wants a new beginning here. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. Yeah, the six of cups, this person from the past. They may not say how much they love you. They may not be the most open person, but this person is in love with you. And they do, and they do very much uh want a connection with you. Yeah, the seven of cups. Yeah, this person, you could be confused about how this person feels for you because they don't say it. But I'm getting um, yeah, the high priestess. I'm getting you know. Yeah, the emperor, you know, yeah, the star and the ten of pentacles. Some of you could be in the public eye. Yeah, the sun and the lovers. Absolutely. And the empress. There it is. And the six of pentacles, king of pentacles, this person, four of pentacles. They're very possessive as you of you as well. They're very obsessed with you. They feel like they are the one for you. Like nobody else is the one for you. Okay, period. And some of you could be a high priestess, a spiritual practitioner or, or an astrologer. You can have your own business. You do very well. Okay, but this person sees you as their complete happiness, as their other match. We have the emperor to the empress with the ten of pentacles, the lovers, the star. This person wants a family with you. They feel like you're very royal, like very royal energy here as well is what I'm hearing. Something about royalty. This is what this person sees you as. Okay, let's see what the messages are here for, for um, Libra. <laughs> Libra the Empress. What's the messages for Libra in love? So somebody's really missing you. They really regret this. Yeah, you see how reconciliation is there? Somebody wants to reconcile. It says unrequited love, okay? It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe you're no longer attracted to this person or maybe it's unrequited now. Yeah, free yourself. Or this could be from this person that they're leaving behind. They're, they're no longer attracted to that person. There's no chemistry or anything because there's plenty of chemistry between you and this person. Ace of Wands, the uh, King of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands. This person is into you, just period. So I feel like it's this person from, that they're leaving behind there's no more chemistry yeah or attraction with the five of pentacles there's there's nothing yeah eight of swords in reverse with free yourself yeah and then we have chemistry and reconciliation that's exactly what i just said they're freeing themselves from this unrequited love situation because the chemistry is with you and they want to reconcile with you libra okay yeah because they feel like you're a soulmate yeah new love yeah What is this for Libra? Yeah. Let go of control issues, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? Some people, some, for some of you, someone has released themselves 
from a marriage here. It says, yeah, express your love. And now somebody wants to express their love. If there wasn't married, it could just be a long-term relationship. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. It could be a Sagittarius. I feel like somebody wants your ass, Libra. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, new love. Okay, and then we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah. worth waiting for and then uh retreat is coming out in the reverse so this person uh they're coming back in if you haven't been talking they're coming back in your divine timing is at work in your love life we have the will of fortune so that's the will of fortune i feel like something is shifting here yeah let your friends help you in reverse so i feel like this person may have listened to their friends in the past they ain't listening to nobody or nothing nobody got to say they want to they want to be they they want to come towards you libra and they don't give a fuck What's somebody talking about? Yeah, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. And they're hoping that you keep an open mind. Yeah, true love. Because they feel like you're their true love. And they feel, yeah, they they want you to forgive them for de for being deceptive. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay, it says wedding. All right, soulmate and reconciliation chemistry. Yeah. They want to tell you that they feel, they feel this connection with you that they've never felt before. They're sorry for lying to you. And whatever else, Libra. What's the messages here for Libra and the Empress in love? Libra, the Empress in love, please. It says, I don't know how, um, you don't know how hard it is to let you go. Yeah, this person has struggled letting you go, Libra. Libra, please, in love. I'm afraid to contact you. So, yeah, somebody wants to come towards you, but they're afraid for how they treated you, that you're going to reject them or, or something like that. It says, I wish things could be different. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be more than friends. Somebody wants to be more than your friend, Libra. Maybe they, they, it was like that before, but they like, nah. Now they're scared to contact you. They really, they really want to, though. They really want to come towards you. It says, I hope that you can forgive me one day so this person hopes that you can forgive them for how they talked to you what they said what they did i wish i could share my good news with you it could be that they broke up that they left this person behind they're no longer dealing with this person they're no longer attached or whatever spell that they were under it's over with ten of swords eight of swords in the reverse it's over i'm grateful for the spiritual lesson so maybe you taught them something spiritual maybe you helped them to see something maybe from conversations that you two have had Okay, finding out the truth crushed me. So we have new love. So maybe they found out that you have a new love. I don't react when people mention you. It could be people asking about you. And I hid who I truly am from you. Didn't I say that at the beginning of the reading? Somebody hid who they truly were from you. And I buried myself in work to forget you. You know what I'm saying? It says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I want to feel that way again. You speak to me through music. Okay, so this person um knows that it was their fault how things ended or what happened. And and they're um they're sorry about that. I'm hearing Sagittarius really heavy. So what's the messages here? Or an Aries. What's the messages, spirit guys, angels universe? But it could be a Virgo, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, an Aries. It could be a um Aquarius, a Scorpio is here. Okay. What's the messages for Libra, the Empress? In love, please. What do we need to know from this deck for Libra? I feel like somebody's obsessed with you. It says Mike Jones effect. So yeah, back then they didn't want you. Now you hot. They all on your ass. Okay. Or 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 if you was hot then or hot now, whatever. Back then they didn't want to fuck with you because they was too busy going back with with whatever they were dealing with or dealing with a lot of holes or playing games. Now now they want you. Okay. Look wants to commit now somebody wants to commit okay yeah living lavishly yeah because you they want to commit you're living lavishly you're you're good you're abundant or somebody wants to spoil you somebody wants to commit to you and they want to spoil you and give you what what it is that you want because i feel like they are being haunted this person is being haunted by how they treated you because it was like for no reason with the page of cups i'm getting you were very sweet to this person you could have even been very generous Okay, and they just, they love your ambition. This person loves your ambition. They love how you work, how you're a go-getter. Okay, this person um, respects you, man. They really do. If they didn't before, they absolutely do now. I, I'm, I'm, you could mark my words on that. Okay, they really do. 
Yeah, your love is like a drug. Okay, so this person loves your your love, your spiritual bath. You could be very spiritual as well. Okay, because we have um we had they appreciate the spiritual lesson. So somebody here with the high priestess is very spiritual. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, telepathic connection. Oh, and I feel like you guys have a very spiritual connection, a very telepathic one as well. This person feels very connected to you, like very much so. And I feel like it's like they feel crazy because they feel so, so connected to you. Yeah, narcissist empath paradigm. So I'm getting you were very, very much uh, it, um, sweet to this person and they were narcissists. They, they felt like the more they was nasty, they will always and forever have you in a third party. Yeah. So this person could be, uh, uh, yeah, baby on board. And there could be a baby here. That wop got them whipped. Yeah, player, cheater, and a hoe. Yeah, so somebody could be a player, a cheater, a hoe. Or this could, could be how they were in the past. Very narcissistic. But I feel like, you know, they kind of want to change... Um, that energy, okay? Yeah, it's a setup hole. Yeah. Okay? It's just sex. All right. So, yeah. I feel like I'm intimidated by you. I feel like somebody uh, a womb cleansing is needed. Yeah, it's safe to, it's safe to trust them, okay? Black magic hexes and spells secretly hates you. Okay, and a witch, all right? For some of you, you need to be careful when motherfucker coming back in because they, they coming back in to have sex or to, to try to, you know, conquer you in some way. And maybe you never had sex with them and they want to have sex. Or if some of you, maybe you did and they want to again. But I would just be careful. But I'm feeling a strong energy of somebody that really wants to be with you here. They really want to commit. They want a relationship with you. It's not just about sex. And if it was in the past, I feel like that changed. Because somebody didn't realize how much they were going to fall in love with you. They did not realize that. Okay. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Spirit told me to pull from this deck again. So there must be a message here. Okay. So they stay up thinking about you. You and I were too young. And then we have, I want you. It says, I love you. So yeah, I replay our conversations over and over again. I am becoming a better person and just being near you is intoxicating. So I feel like this person has become a better person or is becoming. This is who they were. I know I messed everything up. Yeah, this is who they were in the past. Yeah, I couldn't let you get close to me. They pushed you away or whatever. And now I want to be more than friends. I'll, I'll, well, I will wait for a sign from you. Okay, and the timing just wasn't right. We will be together again. I wish I could take back my words. So the timing wasn't right. They 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 said something fucked up. They did something and the timing wasn't right. But now it is because they freed themselves and they want you to know that's who they were then. But that's not who they are now. Yeah, give this relationship a chance. Yeah, they want to give this relationship a chance because they feel like you're their true love. They're not playing with you anymore. They want you to forgive them for being deceptive. Somebody's coming in as the emperor. Okay. And they probably left as a knight of wands. They asked is coming in as the emperor now. So those are your messages, Libra. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.